18th of November Prayer and Reflection for the Souls in Purgatory Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. It's written in Psalm 40 The Lord helps him when he lies down. We can be sure that those who help the souls in purgatory will receive even greater blessings and grace while he promises his goodness to those who help the poor of this world. We know that helping the souls in purgatory is a virtue pleasing to the Almighty, the Father of God. We receive great blessings for even the most trivial things that are done to our Saviour. Therefore, there is no doubt that our Lord will bring many spiritual and worldly benefits to the devotees of the souls in purgatory. In the same way, the souls in purgatory are constantly praying for their benefactors. The easiest way to help them is to make the Almighty see all our actions and sufferings for them. Therefore, devotion to these souls, benefiting our own life, must be increased more than ever. Prayer Almighty and ever-living God, reduce the period of the torment of the souls in purgatory and call them to the presence of Jesus Christ who laid his life on the cross and shed his blood to save those souls. Let us pray the special prayer given to St. Gertrude by Jesus for the holy souls in purgatory. One thousand souls are released from purgatory by praying this prayer with devotion. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses, said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for all sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Aspiration Prayer O Divine Heart of Jesus Christ, be merciful to us. Deeds of Mercy Leave a portion of an early meal today for the souls in purgatory and give it to the beggars. Thank you.